our overall economic target of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years is our goal. The Development Bank of Nigeria had disbursed 324 billion Naira in loans to more than 136,000 micro, small, and medium skill enterprises through 40 participating financial institutions. inauguration ceremony marks a very significant... When President Muhammad Buhari and Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbato took office in May 2015, there were far too many national issues calling for urgent attention. Security, economy, corruption and power, just to name a few. However, they knew that one problem they needed to solve to make most of the other challenges disappear was supporting MSMEs in Nigeria, which contributes 49% to the national gross domestic product, accounts for 96% of businesses, and provides 84% of employment in Nigeria. The federal government swiftly went to work on the strategy and policy framework for a targeted, sustainable, and rewarding intervention program for MSMEs. On Thursday, the 26th of January 2017, a new and prosperous story began for MSMEs in Nigeria when the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, landed in Abia State to launch the maiden edition of the National MSME Clinics an intervention designed to bring together all key government agencies and stakeholders so they can interact with businesses with a view to removing bureaucratic bottlenecks. We want to encourage all of those who are in manufacturing and industry that we want to be very hands-on on this. We want to go with you whatever it takes to be able to get you to do your business well and to become major competitors worldwide. That's exactly what we intend to do. The goal was to establish the MSME clinics and one-stop shops in all the 36 states of the Federation. When the MSME clinic started, uh, we were able to get NAVDAC to reduce some of the charges that uh, uh, they normally uh, charge for their services. Similarly, uh, CAC registration was also relaxed. So a number of MSMEs got their problems solved. However, as the agencies and partners deepened their interaction with these enterprises, the federal government realized that the MSMEs would require more than the clinics to prosper. Too many businesses were struggling simply because they couldn't afford the required plant and machinery to upscale their output. In response to the challenge, the federal government swiftly came up with a solution, the shared facilities. With the shared facilities spread across the country, hundreds of thousands of small production businesses could now use or rent high-end machinery simply for a token. By the turn of 2018, some of the small businesses that participated in the MSME clinics were beginning to thrive. This made the federal government establish the National MSME Awards with a view to recognize and encourage the exceptional entrepreneurs. There was a need to make them a bit more competitive. And then when you make uh, people more competitive, uh, the icing on the cake, what will spur them on is some kind of recognition. To get a National MSME Award in a particular category also does a lot for the profile of the MSME, 
for the product itself. And it's not just national, it's international recognition. And mark you, um, when you have the reward system, the, the, the recognitions are given at the highest level, at the MSME award night, usually chaired by His Excellency, the Vice President. So what better reward system are we looking for? These intervention programs, no doubt, have succeeded immensely because the federal government unleashed all the arsenal in its disposal to make it work. We have an act called the Export Incentive and Miscellaneous Provision Act. That act was enacted in 1986. Since the enactment of that act, the Export Development Fund, which is a scheme under that act, has never been activated. For the first time, that, act, that fund, that's the EDF fund, was activated last year, that's in 2021, and it is an offshoot of the MSME's uh, uh, program that was initiated by the federal government. The fact that DBN, a wholesale DFI, with the mandate of bridging access to finance gaps for underserved Nigerian MSMEs was fully operationalized under the current government is a good testimony. The national MSME clinics have particularly been instrumental in helping to boost production within the Nigerian economy and in promoting awareness for locally made goods and services by MSMEs doing business in Nigeria. Rallying at least 13 agencies within the government, the Office of the Vice President through the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment continued to brighten the future of micro, small and medium enterprises across the country. One refrain that I kept hearing when I came into office was that there was not adequate funding despite all the efforts the government was making and with the support of his excellency the vice president we started looking at various ways and means by which we could get funding for msmes and i think it has gone a long way the feedback that we've been getting from the msmes is such that they are indeed very very grateful for it in 2020 covid19 struck crushing global and national economies in its wake thereby attempting to cast a shadow on the momentous gains made with MSMEs in Nigeria. However, the federal government was even more determined to shield local entrepreneurs from the heat, rolling out fresh tailor-made intervention programs to support MSMEs. Every partner agency had a unique solution to offer. If you were owing taxes and you had no money to pay tax in good time and there is the need for you to pay penalty and interest. The penalty and interest aspect of it was waived by the Board and Management of FRS to support businesses in Nigeria. If you are also doing business and you are supposed to pay taxes in the transaction your business uh, or, or in foreign currency, we also came up with an initiative to say because you are finding it difficult to source for Forex in this difficult time, you can go ahead and pay the Naira equivalent of the Forex you require. One of the most impactful um, support that Nexim has given to MSMEs is handholding them into not only improving their businesses domestically, but even taking them into uh, trading with one, the region, and two, trading into the global economy. Uh, and I'm speaking about loan volumes of close to 200 or 210 billion naira. And we have handheld these MSMEs from production to trade and repatriation of funds into the economy. The Buhari uh, Osimbanjo administration had a very big impact to, on small scale and medium scale industries. One of the biggest examples, especially uh, in Kano, is the rice industry. Um, because of the border closure and the support they have and the bank loans, um, we have one of the most, uh, the largest expanding industry right now in Nigeria. And the rice mills are employing thousands of people. The unique challenge with COVID-19 was that of mobility because of the lockdown. And so, tech-based interventions were equally prioritized.
We have initiatives helping the MSMEs in terms of digital literacy for them to be able to use digital devices to expand their markets. We carry the startup ecosystem along, coming up with ideas, invention and innovation that helps the sector to grow. Today we have people selling Kuli Kuli to metals using platforms, social media platforms to boost their reach. The Office of the Vice President went further to engage high-level partners in the private sector. It is very clear with initiatives such as the MSME clinics and the MSME awards, which have been inaugurated under the administration of President Buhari, that this government takes small businesses very seriously. We at Google are proud partners of the Nigerian government in the effort to support small businesses to drive economic growth. With initiatives such as the Hustle Academy, which we launched earlier this year, we have trained SMEs across the country to help them to build sustainable businesses for the future, drive revenue growth, and position their businesses for investments. We've also partnered with the MSME clinics and the MSME secretariat to do dedicated cohorts for past participants and awardees. We've ensured that we democratize lending and access to finance. We have created digital platforms that have given access to finance to small, medium and micro enterprises, seeking access to finance for of up to 10 million. To date, we have disbursed about 30 billion naira. We've also ensured that we've given them access to banking platforms. We've expanded our rural branch network. We provided financial inclusion to even the smallest of micro enterprises in our markets. We've given the youth and female entrepreneurs a platform for them to grow and dream. And we've done this by encouraging them to set up new businesses and catalyzing those businesses with finance for growth. There's overwhelming evidence that all the MSME intervention programs of the Buhari administration have delivered incontrovertible results. For instance, no fewer than five shared facilities have been established across the country. More than 600,000 new businesses have been registered through the one-stop shops in the last five years. There's just one explanation for the incredible results. They have put concerns about the MSME and the desire to assist them at the very heart of policy making. And so you find a great deal of things done in that regard. The MSME clinics itself, the MSME survival fund in the economic sustainability plan, the desire to open one-stop shops for MSMEs, um, the leading to the whole concept around um, shared facilities through the Finance Act, which uh, reduced the amount of tax paid uh, by MSMEs. With the federal government's intervention programs, MSMEs in Nigeria have come a long way. The clinic has not solved all the MSME problems. It will not solve all the MSME problems. But what the clinic has done is about we sitting down as a people and digging deep and saying that how can we achieve results? So at the early stage, the issue was that, oh, this is not budgeted for, how are we going to achieve this? How are you going to get this done? But, you know, the vice president said, you know, we have to think of a creative way to achieve this aim. It is very important, and that's what we have done. The incoming government, we are going to give them a robust, um, a robust report. And we're hoping that they are able to build on some of the things that we have done. From the day the vice president made the promise in January 2017, the Buhari or Shimbajo administration began writing its own history of MSME interventions in Nigeria. As with everything in Nigeria, we know how to start well. Our problem really is how to finish well. But I want to say that by the grace of God, we will do this well and we'll finish it well. They promised to execute this well and very well indeed they have done.